hey hello what's popping welcome to this video in this video i just want to show you how to set up your page how to do proper page setup in core Draw. all right so this is the design i just finished now and i just want to make sure that the page is properly set up number one is the unit of measurement when you click outside uh you're not clicking any item in core Draw. the first what you'll be seeing on the menu here are the units so are you using uh, millimeters or you're using inches or you're using centimeters so those are the things that you should be considering so for this work it's just the flyer so i am actually using inches so i don't need to bother myself about the rest of uh, 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 dimension so i'm using inches so i will uh, choose the inches then the page size i already had a preset page size which is 8.2368 by 11.6 which is uh, the a4 size there are other preset sizes that you should take note of here other sizes that you can take note of here there are preset sizes so if you're doing a flyer fine if you're doing a brochure there are all sizes there all right so the next thing which is the size i just talked about so the size has to do with the length the the, the width and the, the height and the width so, so that this region and this region so make sure that that is confirmed then then the the proper uh, menu to do your page setup is the layout uh, uh menu so when you click on the layout menu if you want to add more page if you click on insert page now this page is going to it's going to insert the same uh, value of the same page that is what it's going to insert so uh, even if you duplicate the same the page it's going to come out in the same way if you want to rename a page you can rename this page uh, by just giving it a, a unique name just as it is now you can see this page has been renamed then we also have the delete if you want to delete then if you have multiple pages when you have like 300 pages and you want to go to a specific page you can just click on that and insert the page and you can just go over to it so but i don't have that so i don't need to bother about it then if you want to insert page numbering um this is good but i when i'm working in core draw i rather do my page numbering myself because um, from my experience core draw is not really perfect with page numbering and uh, if you go with core draw page numbering you can get yourself into a mess or an error so another thing you need to note again is the page orientation um, this design can either be landscape or portrait so um, i have to decide that with this uh with either this or i can or i can add i can make it i can do it myself right so uh, just look at it now what the orientation means that this swap into this okay this page swap into this all right so i can just change it back so and you can look at look at it here and change your page orientation from here all right so the next thing that we have there is the document information i don't you don't really need to bother yourself about that the page size is what we already looked about then there is something that um is not there that you need to pay attention to which is the bleed this is the mark i just added i just added the grid line i just added to my work when designing one thing that you need to know is that each design has its own has bleed specification um, by default i think 0 0.05 of your work of the of the con edges of your work need to have what we call the bleed in other words you need to have a region like this out in the edges of your work inside your work that you will not allow any text or important uh, uh, information to be on that is what they call the bleed it's important that you don't allow any information so that because if this is a flyer and you want to cut you might be requiring you might be requiring to cut along this part 
so when you give when you don't give space for example you leave this information here you design this and you leave it like this when they want to cut this job they are going to cut off this guy away so it's important that you adjust you set your bleed your bleed you can set it if you are used to correct draw if you are used to designing you should you should already have this on in your mind but if you are still new you can use your grid line to set your bleed and just set it by default but just set it there then your pages i've talked about your pages and i've talked about your retention so these are the things that you need to know when setting up your page in CorelDRAW. Whether you are designing a banner, you are designing a flyer, you are designing a book cover, it's important that you have your work, um, that you note the bleed, the bleed space for your work. You note the bleed space, the, the size, the dimension, and make sure that everything, every um, object or element that you need in your work is inside the workspace this area here is 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 the sorry is um is is the workspace this area here is called the workspace and this is the main page so uh, make sure that every element of your design that you need is in your main page and not in your workspace so uh when you are saving your work what what the printer or what the output of your work will be at this region at this region here and not this region so you can as well delete this and make sure that your work your work appears neat you don't have any other information hanging all over your workspace if you have them you can just delete them and this is it so um uh, if this video has been helpful to you, please um, do well to like and subscribe for this channel if you're new. Uh, thank you.